New South Wales residents in relationships could soon be able to check if their partner has been convicted of domestic violence offences in a trial expected to be unveiled by the Premier today. Kenny Heatley has more from State Parliament. Pete, it's called the right to ask scheme and as you say will allow people, particularly women, to check if their partners had ever been convicted in the past of domestic violence offences so they could use that information to hopefully escape harm themselves. A similar uh, scheme was enacted by the New South Wales government in 2016 but you had to actually go into one of four police stations in the state so there wasn't widespread uptake. Well with the right to ask scheme you'll be able to access this information through either a website or a hotline. There is going to be strict privacy provisions in place. You'll have to show your ID. You'll have to prove somehow that you're in a relationship with the person you're trying to get information about, such as a statutory declaration, and there will be penalties for malicious applications. This trial is going to be going for 12 months, and then it's going to be re reviewed after that. Also happening this week on Wednesday is a dating apps safety roundtable, a national one that's going to be convened by a communications minister, Michelle Rowland. It's going to be attended by members from all levels of government and experts with the intent to try and stamp out abuse and harassment between matchmakers of these online dating apps. And a few of the companies that are going to be presenting themselves to this national roundtable include Match, Bumble and also Grindr. The Australian Institute of Criminology found that three in four people that they surveyed uh, reported that they'd been victims of some form of sexual violence in the past five years from people that they've communicated with through these online dating apps or websites. Uh, well, well, some experts are saying that uh, AVO offenders should be banned from making accounts in the first place. Pete, just one of the ideas that is floated ahead of this national roundtable this Wednesday.